Hello there and welcome. In this video tutorial, we'll have a look at the new Redmine Agile Board 2017 plugin by Easy Redmine. The Agile Board is a project module, so it has to be enabled in the project settings. Now let's go to the modules. And here you can see Scrum Board and Kanban Board, which are the two most popular Agile frameworks for completing complex projects. So you just have to tick one or both and save, and then you'll be able to see it in the project's top menu. Since both Scrum and Kanban boards have similar using patterns, we will take a closer look on Scrum Board. Just click on the tab and you'll see your sprint backlog and different statuses. In here, you can basically move tasks from one status to another using simple drag and drop. By clicking on this drop-down menu, you can select a swim lane, which means you can see the tasks grouped per various criteria. For example, if you click here, you see the tasks per assignee within the different statuses, which gives you a great overview, and you can simply reassign any task to someone else without opening the task like here. On the sprint, you can multi-select more tasks using control or the shift key on your keyboard, and then move them at one time, or edit them together via the task context menu by clicking the right mouse button. Using the three icons next to the sprint name, you can edit, close, or delete the current sprint. Over here in the sidebar, you can choose from a list of existing sprints, and using this green button, you can create a new sprint. The Project Backlog button allows to select which of the tasks are relevant for the Agile processing, and manually set the order at which you prefer them to be moved to the Sprint Backlog, like here. Charts button shows you a burn down chart, which is a graphical representation of work left to do versus time. The outstanding work, or backlog, is often on the vertical axis, with time along the horizontal. It's useful for predicting when all of the work will be completed. Finally, here you'll also find Sprint Settings. In Settings, you can adjust the columns and map them to particular task statuses. For example, you can set that if you move a task to Realization column, the task status will change to Realization. And, if you want, you can also set to automatically change the assignee by selecting a particular user from the list. To remove a column from the Sprint, simply click on the Delete button on the right side. To create a new column, use the button New Kanban State here. Below, you can see the Done column settings, and we can also see some additional options, which affect information showed within a task box in the sprint, namely subtitle, value, avatar, date, or icon. This preview highlights where is such information going to be situated in the box. Using the checkbox down on the page, you decide whether your workflow settings applies for the sprint or not. When you have your settings appropriately modified and you need to apply them immediately, click Recalculate Statuses button here, which will rearrange the tasks according to the current settings. Finally, save the changes you made by clicking on the Update button. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching and good luck!